silky with lots of patterns over it. When you cover the figure with clothing, there's, uh, there's advantages and disadvantages in it. The obvious disadvantage is that you can't see the figure underneath. The advantage is you can hide a lot. One of the biggest advantages is contour drawing. Um, because the best thing about clothing is it causes creases at anchor points. So like from the armpit out, uh, from in here, knees, groins, they're all anchor points and those lines come and this is where you can cheat a little bit. You can use those to do your contour drawings. If you're doing a line around an arm, you're describing that arm much better. That's the big advantage of clothing. The other advantage is, uh, I guess, like you know, you're doing a forearm. It's basically just like a teardrop there. You don't have to know which way the muscles are going because it's just one block thing. What you do need to do is the gesture drawing underneath. If you get that gesture drawing underneath, put a bit of meat on. So it's almost like you're imagining uh, what it's like underneath. Uh, then you can put the clothing on you. The clothing will sit right. Now the other thing with clothing is that there is different types of uh, textiles which will mm. give you different types of wrinkles and there's uh, whether something is uh, on tight or on loose. So what's going to hide the most is a thick fabric that's worn loose. It hides just about everything. A thick fabric which is really tight uh, will give you a few contour lines. The best is a thin fabric which is on tight. That's going to give you stacks of lines all over the place. And also a thin fabric which is worn loose is still going to fall in a certain place and hang in a place which is still going to give you lots of interesting lines. Where I say you cheat is you sneak a few more lines in and sometimes you don't have to. So let's have a look. And pattern's the other thing. Mm. Obviously in the military people wear camouflage for a reason. It hides the body, breaks up the form, and patterns will do the same thing. So some so pattern can be your worst enemy. Uh, unless you want to hide something <coughs> like, oh that anatomy's not too good, I'll do a bit more pattern there. Uh, but usually it's not a good idea. Pattern is the enemy of any illustration. So what you have to do is you have to lighten and dark the pattern, make the pattern disappear in the light and maybe heavy it up in the dark. You gotta sort of try and use that the best you can. And again, cheat a little bit. Make it lighter than it has to be when it's facing the light. Make it darker than it has to be when it's in the shade. Okay. Good morning, Bill. Running late. Yeah. A good place to see that, Bill, is in the old um, fashion pattern magazines when they used to hand paint. Okay, and yes. Designs, and you'll see that, what you just said, about lights and darks and shapes and contours. Yes. So have to sell the yeah, okay. So pattern designs yeah, have pattern that books. artwork on. Yeah, yeah. And some of their pattern designs just looks confusing too when they don't do it right. The new ones don't because they tend to Photoshop underneath just one pattern. And okay. It doesn't, it's like it's a cutout. Yeah, and so, so that just get don't get any shape or form of the figure. But that's not what we're doing. No, but it's a good way to see pattern form. Yes. All right, let's go. So I'm just starting this drawing, same as I normally would. With the gesture drawing, I'm now trying to work out roughly what the figure is. So I mean the rib cage is here, face is here, the head. Now so stick figure it in. Okay, last week I showed you all these different ways of approaching a drawing and you can do any of those too. Now you see the back leg here, I know it comes out here, but I you know, see a bit of thigh there, but I have to use my imagination as to where the knee is. I've got no idea where the knee is really completely hidden. This one here, I can see part of the knee there. So, I know where the feet are, so I can sort of stick figure in the feet. I have a pretty good idea where that elbow there is. You can see the hand real clear, I can't see the other one. That's my start of the drawing. Now what you can do is you can get there and you can really uh, work in 
the whole figure underneath. And this is where you have to use your knowledge. So, she's got like a deltoid there, a bicep there, and the muscles there. Okay, I can't see those things, but I know they're there. That's one way of doing this, one way of approaching this is to sneak all those that anatomy in there because you know it is in there somewhere and then you just cover it over so and here we have because what we've got is very loose thin fabric you've got the creases in there but you've also got flat bits that are hidden because it's loose I am looking for that line there that line's important to me because it's a contour line and I'm going to emphasize that so this is where you cheat a little bit and you emphasize the contour lines um, the other thing you'll have with fabric just not a bad line there too um, sometimes what you'll have I'll try to see yeah over here we have it we have this sort of shape <coughs> where it will sort of fold a little bit. The, you sort of see the end where the wrinkle goes to a point and then it sort of takes a little bit of like a little mini U-turn. Um, those are often seen here too, especially in tighter clothing, you'll see a lot of those uh, things to look for. Okay, here I am looking, okay, this is where the light's hitting, the shadow here. So shading becomes really important. It becomes important because the figure is obscured. Do that sleeve there. Shade there. So when faced with a pattern like this, ignore the pattern. So first get your gesture drawing down, and then get a little bit of anatomy down, and then get the clothing down, completely ignoring the pattern. Pretend the pattern's not even there. And that way, <coughs> see there's a nice light bit area here, then there's a dark bit here. So her breast is here somewhere, and all we know of that is that there is a bit of shade here. Tied there. Shade under that hand there, emphasizing that thigh there. So you see what I'm doing here, just looking at tone, form, shade, and I'm going to cheat. See that? I cheated a little bit. Just a bit. I cheated a little bit. I snuck in a bit. Of course I wanted to overemphasize that line there, because that gives me... I'm going to cheat again. I can see this, you know, like the slightest bit there, but I'm cheating. I'm now going to put more of a contour there than I can actually see. This is giving it the illusion of three dimensions. You don't know when to cheat. So, that's cheat. Um, and remember the other ways of cheating too is to make sure you've got perspective. I can't see that hand. I can see this foot here. This foot here, it's going to be just slightly bigger than this foot here, even though there's a bit of foreshortening. Now, the other great thing about fabric, and you're going to find this when you do your foreshortening, is that you've got those curves, those beautiful contour lines. So you're going to use those contour lines to help describe the foreshortening. Um, Jim, can you just put your arm out, like, straight to me, straight at me, uh, down a little bit, up a little bit, yeah, about there. So now Jim's putting, I'll do this quick. That's alright. <laughs> okay, so, we're very quickly rough in the hand there. Okay, the first really handy line here is this, mm. where the sleeve is. That really describes that 
uh, perspective looking straight at. So okay, the sleeves coming down here. It does also help a little bit, but not as much as that. That's really important. Next, I can sort of see where um, where the elbow, where the arm goes. Again, there. Now I'm coming up to where the shoulder is. I don't think Jim can hold it for much longer. No, I'm pretty good. Yeah. That's where her head is. So. So you can see that when it comes to foreshortening, suddenly clothing becomes your best friend because it's helping describe that so much. Now, let's try down now. Probably just stay similar to where you were. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Sticking a few lines in here. Of course it's very loose. Normally you have probably even more lines here if it's tight. Now I can just sort of, if I'm going to pop these patterns in, I'm going to them very, very lightly. Like this, like. because I do not want them to overpower these lovely contour lines that I've done. So it's almost like you're just putting a suggestion that they're there. So here, patterns here. So now it's a pattern thing, but the pattern's not hiding any of the form. Sure, if you do colour, that's another confusion altogether. If you was to do this in colour, you would have to keep your values, keep the very dark, the very light, as much as you can. If you can keep those values, you can do it in colour. So colour is just as much as a camouflage as pattern is. Okay, let's get drawing.